This is my newest lightweight tent. It's really big, weighs in at only 900 grams, but it costs around 400 pound, which is a little bit too rich for most people. So in today's video, I'm gonna be looking at some of the lightweight tents that I would buy, ranging from prices from around 50 pounds <laughs> all the way to some of the premium ones at maybe five, 600. I brought my tablet to help me out. But before I crack on and tell you what I'd buy for around 50 pounds, I just wanna clarify what I'm terming as lightweight. So anything for me under two kilos is what I'm gonna be talking about today. Um, I realize that there's some good tents between two and three kilos, which isn't a huge amount of weight, um, but then again, 600 gram shelters or 500 gram shelters uh, are quite a niche product, so they're not for everyone. I'm going to be looking at products that I think are going to be relatable to, to the everyday wild camper. So the tents that I'm going to pick are ones that I would personally buy, so they might not be the right tent for you, so I do recommend still doing your own research. So without further ado, the tent that I would buy if I only had £50 to spend would be the OEX Fox One. Uh, it's currently here for sale on Tiso for £45. Uh, regular comes up at £45, £50. Um, you do have to search around for it though. I believe it weighs in at 1.7 kilos. Let's have a look. 1.6 kilos. So it's a lightweight tent. However, uh, it's not the most spacious inside. So the internal height of the tent is only 70 centimetres. So you're not going to be able to sit up in this. It's more like a, a bivy style tent. They do pitch out of first, so if it's raining, you want to get a shift on at putting that fly on. Partly because of its low profile, it's a very sturdy tent, so it will stand up to uh, some pretty tough conditions, um, such as wind and rain. So if I only had 50 pounds to spend, that would definitely be the tent that I bought. So moving on to around the 100 quid price mark, uh, there's a couple of tents around there that I looked at. There's the Outkit Soloist, which is 110 pounds, something like that. Um, there's also the Nature Hike Cloud Up One, which is a very similar design. However, the Alp Kit, um, I would suggest you're gonna get a better customer service experience if you bought from them. But the tent I'll actually go for is the Van Gogh Nevis 100. It's currently around 92, 93 pounds on Amazon, um, which is a very good tent for that kind of money. I used to have the Van Gogh Zenith, which is basically the same tent but it's just been repackaged into a newer model so the nevis weighs in at 1.7 kilos it's got an internal height of 88 centimeters so it's a little bit taller than the fox so you can have a little bit more room and it's also really good in pretty much all conditions however if it gets really windy i would be looking for a little more shelter it's a really good tent for that kind of money however the alpkit soloist weighs half a kilo less so if you really want lightweight then maybe look at that one but if it was my money, I'd be buying the Van Gogh Nevis. So moving on to the £150 kind of bracket. This for me is um, the most interesting price bracket when it comes to lightweight tents. There's loads of good quality tents to choose from and you get quite a lot for your money. So the first mention goes to the Wild Country Zephyros Compact One that weighs in at 1.57 kilos. You can get it for around £135. It's a very good tent for the money. There's loads of room in the vestibule and you can pretty much use it all year round. But also in that kind of price bracket, you can get the infamous 3FUL Lanshan 1 and 2. So the Lanshan 1 is a little bit cheaper and it uses a single trekking pole um, to support it. So trekking pole tents are generally a lot lighter than tents that come with uh, preformed poles. So if you use trekking poles already, then one of those kind of tents may be worth having a look at. As I said, the Lanshan 1 only uses one pole and the Lanshan 2 uses two poles. And for 300 grams more, you're getting a huge amount of space. So for 1,060 grams, the Lanshan 2 <laughs> looks a pretty good buy. So I used to have the original Lanshan 1, which was a really good lightweight tent. Um, but recently they brought out the, the Lanshan uh, 1 Pro and the Lanshan 2 Pro, which are single skin tents. Uh, you had a little bit more room inside. So the original Lanshan 1 and 2, and uh, they are double skin tents. So they come with either a three season inner or a four season inner. So depending what time of year you're using it, you could buy the extra inner and, and then just swap them out depending on what the conditions are. But the Lanshan Pro is made with better materials. So it's full sill nylon tent, um, which is much stronger than the PU coated stuff on the standard tent. So if you want that extra strength and durability, then I'd be looking at the Lanshan Pro. For the most part, there's three different types of tents. So there's the trekking pole tent, as we've discussed, 
Um, there's just a regular pole tent which still needs guying out. And then you have a freestanding tent which basically you can just pick it up and move it around. Um, however, they tend to have more poles with them. So something like the Nature Hike 2, um, you can pick it up or you can just pitch it without having any sort of guy lines if you need to. So if you wanted something that was freestanding, then a tent worth looking at is the Nature Hike Vic 1 or Vic 2. Um, the Vic 1 weighs in at 1,050 grams, I believe it is. I used to own one of those and it is a little bit cramped in there. So you might want to look at the, the Nature Hike Vic 2, uh, which is 1,350 grams, which is still really lightweight for a virtually freestanding tent. So there's loads of other tents in that 150 pound price bracket. But if I could only have one, um, then I would buy uh, the 3FUL Lanshan 2 Pro. Uh, it's a single skin tent, uh, but there's more room inside, so you should be able to stay away from the fly. You're getting a lot of tent for the money there. So before we move on, a quick thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring the video today. So Squarespace is the place to go if you want to make a website where you've got no idea what you're doing. Uh, they have ready-made templates that are fully customizable, so all you have to do is upload some photos, add some text, and then you can customize everything for that unique look of your own. Squarespace has got lots of features. There's an analytics section where you can check all of your data for how many views, etc., you've had. So my favorite feature is the mobile app. It allows me to check or amend my website while on the go. So I personally use my website for selling merchandise and promoting my YouTube channel, but there's templates for pretty much anything. So if you're a photographer or a blogger, or you just want to sell your Nan's Knitter jumpers, then Squarespace has got something for you. So click the link in the description below or head over to squarespace.com forward slash Paul Messner. You'll get a totally free trial, so you've got nothing to lose, and 10% off your first purchase. So moving on to the 200 to 300 pound price bracket. Um, this is the least um, interesting <laughs> price bracket for me. I think you get a lot much better value around the 150 pound mark. So I found this price bracket really tough. Um, I was going to choose the Six Moons Designs Lunar Solo and um, that weighs in at, what was it again? 732 grams. Um, so it's a very lightweight shelter, but I think you can get an equally good one from the, um, the Lanshan, very similar tent. So, and that's 240 pounds at the moment. Um, so what I went for instead, if I had 200, 200 to 300 pounds to spend, I would buy the Van Gogh F10 Helium UL1. That's currently around £210 and it weighs in at 1.2 kilograms and that comes with the poles. It's a pretty solid tried and tested design. It's a similar sort of design as a Banshee but it's lighter and better quality materials. So 200 to 300 it'd be the Van Gogh F10 Helium. Let me know in the comments below what tent you'd choose in that price range. So between the three and £400 bracket wasn't anything that really caught my eye other than the, the Cita Summit Alto TR2 uh, that weighs in at 1154 grams um, which is quite a nice airy tent however I would choose the MLD Duro Mid um, which is what I've already got and uh, that's at the top end of the budget of 400 pounds um, and that is with the, the Solo Mid in them I believe um, and it weighs in at 900 grams. Um, I'm really impressed with how much room there is in there. It's a very sturdy shelter. Um, now I've <laughs> got through the teething troubles of how to pitch it properly. And the amount of space inside is phenomenal. Um, I'm really liking it. So for 400 pound, 300, 400, that is the tent that I personally would buy. It's not for everybody. It's a bit of a niche one, um, but a lot of these kind of tents are when you start spending big bucks. So the final price bracket I'm going to do is just £400 and above. Um, tents can go up to a 1000 2000 whatever you want to pay for them. I have always wanted to try a DCF or Cuban fibre tent. However, I don't think that they're the most practical shelters for the UK. Uh, they do rustle a lot in the wind. You've got to be really careful when you're packing them away. I want something that I can just shove in a bag. And you can't do that with those tents. And I have seen the Z-Pax Duplex, I believe it is, in action. And it looked a little bit frail to me, although the DCF is supposed to be you know, one of the toughest materials. And the tent looked very delicate. So anyway, for 400 plus pounds, I would choose the Hilleberg NN. Um, it's a lightweight tent at 
1.2 kilograms. It is basically the Hilleberg Acto, but with lighter weight materials. The Enan is still extremely tough. Um, so you can put it through pretty much any of the worst conditions here in the UK. It will take a little bit of light snow loading and it is pretty expensive, but I managed to, to find one for 500 59 pounds so <laughs> it's over the 400 pound marker but it's <laughs> well under some of the prices but that would be where i would spend my money um if i had that that kind of cash to spend so i've picked out tents from 50 pound up to nearly 600 pound and the 50 pound tent weighs in at 1.6 kilos and the 600 pound weighs in at 1.2 kilos so that's the weight of a can of coke really in difference Without question, the Hilleberg is a much better quality tent than the OEX. Um, however, for the most part, most of the year round, you would get away with the OEX uh, Fox One tent. You won't have a lot of space inside, um, so if it's really bad weather, you're gonna be cramped up in there. So if you just wanna go out camping, especially in some of the, the nicer weather, you don't have to spend big bucks for a lightweight tent.